Uh, I spoke to you this morning, uh, members of the committee, about the impact of this project on greenhouse gas emissions. I calculate that in 40 years, this project would add 1.6 megatons of carbon dioxide equivalent to the global atmosphere. On that basis alone, this project should not go ahead. Because it would create environmental and financial problems where none existed before, many people, including myself, are wondering why I've embarked on such an ill-advised path. Perhaps the answer lies in the push by the BC government to privatize public utilities. There is no doubt in my mind and the minds of many others that this entire project has been mandated by the BC government's desire to privatize municipal services. But the public response you've been receiving points to considerable concern about this. There is strong public support that the CRD's sewage system should be publicly owned and operated. You are asking the public to choose from a menu of six procurement options, from the public design build, bid build to the P3 design build, operate, maintain. But there is another option that is, has not been included, which is not to proceed at all with this billion dollar me mega project. There is considerable public support for that option too. This public quote unquote involvement process is manipulative and meaningless without including none of the above, which I suggest is the best choice. Without the option of not proceeding, you're faced with three political situation solutions to the thorny issue of ownership and procurement. A fully public system, a hybrid mix of public and private, and a full P3 package. Because you must somehow assuage the public fear of privatization, there is no doubt in my own mind that you will favor the politically less damaging hybrid solution. That way, you can appear to be fair and balanced, except that this is the worst possible choice. This hybrid solution is in fact a P3, in which the heart of this project, ownership and sale of the revenue producing streams of biogas and biosolids, will be moved into private hands, while the costly non-revenue supporting infrastructure will be paid for by public funds. The devil's hidden in the details. The draft business case presented by Ernst & Young last week recommended that both the West Shore and Victoria's biosolids plants be P3s. I suggest to you that these two plums, the big plum and the little plum to come, are of great interest to the private sector. These two plants will receive the liquid waste streams from the entire Capital Region District. They will dry and process them to produce methane biogas for internal process use, with any surplus for sale to Terrison gas. The operator will sell the biosolids, uh, one option is the operator will sell biosolids as, as, as cement kiln or municipal waste incinerator fuel. The CRD would be reduced to a supply of liquid waste at public expense. It's the perfect money machine. The plant operator is guaranteed a flow of feedstock which it, it can process as cheaply as possible. It can possibly then resell its products to the highest bidder, maybe even while being paid to process the sewage. It all depends on the details of the contract. Who would own the incoming feedstock? Who would own the biogas and biosolids produced? What about any future carbon credits? Who will own these valuable tradable assets? These details are vitally important to the regional taxpayer, but we aren't being asked about those, nor are we likely ever to learn exactly what will be negotiated on our behalf. Should these two plants be privatized, we know that the financial and operational details of any contract will be hidden from public view on the grounds of commercial secrecy. Yet these contracts could contain certain minimum maximum flow requirements that could limit the ability of the CRD to fulfill other policies, such as water use and greenhouse gas reduction. You're asking us, we the public, to, cho to choose between six models of procurement, while the devilish details are hidden in a carefully crafted reports that suggest privatizing these two key plans. You have one minute. Thank you. That's like Henry Ford saying, you can have any color you car you want as long as it's black. By choosing the hybrid option, you'll still be turning over the valuable assets of a municipal service to the private sector while asking the public to pick up the tab. That doesn't seem right to me nor to the majority of the voting public in your municipalities. The decisions you're making in the next months are crucial, for both for financial stability of the CRD and for each municipality, for public health and for the global environment. 
do not deliver the valuable CRD sewage assets into the hands of a private operator while calling it a hybrid solution. That would be subterfuge and sleight of hand. And do not think for a moment that you can ask the public to pay for this project without a full, um, what's the word? Can you wrap up? <laughs> oh, we all get those moments. <laughs> okay. Uh, with, without a full, um, what is it when everybody votes on you? Oh, referendum. Thank you. Thank you.